Hello everyone, welcome back to another exciting tutorial, in this tutorial I will show you how to do this logo from start to presentation, so watch till the end, thank you very much. Basically we will do this design from the reference of the Dara's logo, so first set the stroke color full black, set the stroke size 55 points, and then take the polygonal tool, and draw a polygon into the artboard. Rotate it to 90 degrees. Take the line segment tool and draw a straight line here. Select all the line, go to the object, and expand the fill and stroke. Take the line segment tool again, and draw a line here. Then select the extended shape, take the shape builder tool, and minus the extra part by pressing out from the keyboard. Now select all the shape, go to the pathfinder tool, and click on unite. That's perfect, now take the pen tool, and start making triangle shape, and color it by the eyedropper tool. We have to do the same thing by multiple time. You can take a screenshot of the color from the video, and then use it on your logo. Make sure you perfectly draw the triangle, and color it. For the video purpose I did it a bit fast. You can use this technique, any of your logos. So our color part is ready, now select all the triangle by pressing shift and click. Then go to edit, cut it, delete the main shape, and then go to edit again, and paste it to the front. That's perfect, our logo is ready, now move it to the side, and make another gradient version of this logo. So first select the main shape, then go to the gradient panel, and click on gradient, then double click both side and take this two color. After that take the pen tool, and draw an external shape here. Select both shape, take the shape builder tool, and minus the outer part by pressing alt and click. Then select the extra shape we create, go to the gradient panel and click on gradient, and then make one side of the gradient darker color, and other side gradient opacity 0. Press G to activate gradient tool, and draw it from one side to another side. That's perfect, now we will do that with all the corner. Just do the same as I show you in the previous shape. You can use this method with all of your design.
That's perfect, now select all the shape, by pressing shift and click, and rounded one side of the corner. Again select all the shadow part, then go to transparency panel, and make the opacity normal to multiply, and make the opacity 60%. That's perfect, now let's apply some typography on it. So first move the logo to a side, and take the text tool, and type the logo name Daraz. Make it bigger and try to adjust with the size of the logo. For this one, we will use the font name Poppins. After that we will make 6 copy of it, to experiment which text will be look good with the logo. Now let's try some different type of font in the logo. From all of this, this one looks good to me, so let's keep that, and delete all the other one. Now let's jump into the Photoshop, and make some presentation. So in this video I will show you two mock-up, and this two mock-up you will get in the first comment. To make the mock-up, Double click on this layer, and then you will get a new page like that. Then jump into the illustrator again, and set the text color black to white, and then copy it. Now create a new layer by pressing this plus sign, and delete the old layer. After that press Ctrl and V to paste the logo we copied. Make sure we will paste it as smart object. Then press Ctrl and S to save the logo. That's perfect, now let's make another mock-up with the same method. This time we will copy the logo only. Double click on this layer, create a new layer, and delete the older one, and then paste it as smart object and press OK. And then press Ctrl S to save it. You will get this mock-up in the first comment, so this the end of this video, if you like this video don't forget to leave a like, also you can check out my others video, hope they will be so helpful for you, thank you very much for your attention, have a great day.